Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, real talk, man. First of all, man, shout out to everybody in the LDBC, man, that's been working hard. Shout out to the brothers of the LDBC, the ladies of the LDBC, and the supporters of the LDBC who've been riding with us and supporting us, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to talk about the LDBC uh, once again in a separate video. But see, I've noticed now, now that it's been, it, it, you know, completely uncovered who whose fault it is that the fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder isn't happening now. Once again, people are trying to follow in the footsteps of the LDBC, who was the first people putting it out there, that it was Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn who was preventing this fight from happening. When you had the fake media, the fake, the fake bullshit sit on the sideline, you know, passive media who was scared to call Anthony Johnson and Eddie Hearn out for basically running and ducking from this fight. Shout out to everybody, man. Because now, all of a sudden, all these bigger, you know, websites and YouTube channels that have websites are starting to follow suit. Starting to follow in the footsteps of the LDBC, who was on to Anthony Joshua from the gate. That he didn't want to fight. And that when he turned down $50 million, that showed me he was full of shit. Because like I said, they ain't no fighter in their right fucking mind would turn down $50 million for a fight. And for people that's sitting up saying Anthony Joshua is making that per fight and two fights, that's complete bullshit. Because I, I can do the math. I can tell you right now that that's a complete lie. I, I say at best Anthony, Anthony Johnson is getting maybe 4 or $5 million per fight. All that shit about he making twenty million per fight is complete bullshit. Now I can put together a video doing the math, which will further humiliate and expose Eddie Hearn. Cause like I said before, how the fuck you paying Eddie Hearn ain't even worth twenty million dollars. They saying his net worth ain't even worth twenty million dollars. So how the fuck is he paying Ant Anthony Johnson twenty million dollars? Real talk. I'm waiting for somebody to explain that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. That's a complete fucking lie. But yeah. The LDBC is making noise whether people want to say our names or not. They want to hint. You know, people make their little innuendos on, on videos and shit. You know, like Tony Monero and, 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 and you know, and, and, and Steve Ken. You know, and, 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 you know, you know, uh, Dougie, Dougie Fisher, you know what I'm saying? Even, even some of the big, you know, you, you know, even some of the big weird promotional companies, you know, but they know who we are and that's good. That's fine. But like I said, remember who put it out there first, because once Steven Espinosa said, Hey man. Hey, Eddie Hearn, you full of shit, man. You know damn well Deontay Wilder was ready to make this fight. Because like I said, don't think for a second that Steven Espinosa wasn't waiting for the moment to put Eddie Hearn on blast. Because Steven Espinosa told Fred, barbershop conversation out of his own mouth, that they, had, that they was working on making that fight happen in Las Vegas. And Anthony Joshua punked out of the fight because they thought when they came up with the 50 million dollars they basically thought they was going to have a deal set in place and Anthony Joshua and them reneged and they punked out of it so you didn't think that Steven Espinosa was going to seize the moment to stick it to Eddie Hearn when he had a chance and he picked the perfect timing to Based off the fact that they was going to pull this shit with Alexander Povetkin, that was, the, man, that was the perfect time. And he came out of nowhere and lowered the boom on Eddie Hearn. So real talk. 
So just remember, just remember, man, who put it out there first. All these other big wigs that's putting out all these videos about, you know, Deontay Wilder and Showtime exposes Eddie Hearns. They wasn't saying that. They wasn't saying that last week. They was playing. They was playing the fence. They was, you know, what I'm saying, riding the fence and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to the LDBC, man.